So hi everyone and welcome to my channel and a special warm welcome if you're brand new here. My name's Kiwi Sims Kate. Kiwi because I'm from New Zealand, Sims because I love the Sims and Kate because that's my name. It's as simple as that. Now regular viewers of the channel might be getting a little bit sick of me saying that but I'm afraid it's gonna stay okay. <laughs> Uh, welcome! Uh, this is my first speed build in about a month. Uh, the last one I put out was a little modern family build in San Sequoia, the new new uh, world that we got with Growing Together expansion pack. And already we've had another expansion pack. Oh my goodness! I am so I'm just so excited to share this build with you. Um, I can't even express how in love I am with this new expansion pack, Horse Ranch. If you've been living under a rock, yes, The Sims 4 has indeed released yet another expansion pack this year. I feel like it was only yesterday that we got growing together. So I was really shocked that we got an EP so soon. I kind of expected maybe a game pack. Uh, but no, we got Horse Ranch, which is an expansion pack. And, you know, I had my... Uh, reservations about it before it came out and it was never really a theme that I was really hoping for in The Sims uh, but I just love getting new content always so I never really have too much to complain about to be fair uh, because any new content has got good content in my eyes um, and you know my big hope is that we will get some kind of hotel or resort pack at some point in the near future, fingers crossed. <laughs> anyway, loving this new pack, Horse Ranch. So I absolutely, even though I've got a couple of other videos sort of mid-production on the go, I had to skip uploading those because I really wanted to bring this one out as soon as possible after the pack release. Um, and it is actually... A shell challenge. So you'll notice at the start of the video there was already a shape of a barn and um, that was created by one of the uh, one of the kind of founding members of the Sims ANZ stream team which I am very very proud to be a part of. It's a Twitch streaming team consisting of Australian and Kiwi um, simmers and there's a bunch of us and they're all amazing people and the team had a shell challenge out I believe it is uh, finished now but they were giving away uh, the horse ranch pack for someone who entered the shell challenge and although I already had the pack I um, I wanted to enter just for fun so the shell was wasn't designed by myself it was built um, by Sailor M's who you absolutely should check out and uh, yeah, just kind of furnished by me for fun uh, because I love the build by items in this pack. They're all gorgeous. You'll already have seen me uh, pick out a bunch of them. The other thing about this build that I want to point out early on is that it's base game and horse ranch only. So as long as you've got the horse ranch pack, you shouldn't have anything missing from this build if you, if you do want to download it from the gallery. Uh, but... I had so much fun. There were so many options and I found that the horse ranch items went really, really well with some base game items. I There are some that, in my opinion, really seamlessly integrated with each other uh, and some surprising objects too, like some items that I normally would completely ignore in base game and that I would look over and I don't know if I've ever really used in game before that when building this pairing it with the horse ranch items yeah I, I found items that from the base game that I was using that I don't know if I've ever used before so that was really exciting too I always love going back to other packs that have been around for a while or even the base game and discovering things that I didn't know about it before or discovering new items that maybe the default swatch isn't particularly inviting but maybe some of the other swatches are interesting so yeah that I definitely learned a few things about base game doing this build which was interesting uh, so 
what I decided to do with this shell was obviously it's a very traditional kind of American barn style shape. So I did build it as a barn. I didn't try and kind of do a, a wild conversion or anything with it. And I also wanted to keep it fairly traditional. I wanted to use a lot of the deeper tones of the woods, which by the way, the textures in this pack of the items in the woods are so beautiful, like beyond beautiful. I'm so obsessed. I just, I just want to build in this pack all the time. So uh, yeah, I, I definitely knew I wanted to keep uh, dark swatches um, and look, make it look quite traditional. Um, and I sort of came up with a little story to allow myself to get some inspiration through the build. And the story that I came up with is obviously not something you need to follow if you do download this build, it's completely up to you, is that I imagined that there was a sim who had a horse, who uh, had a rescue horse in fact, who um, they kept at a stable somewhere, but they didn't live at the stables where they, you know, hired out the area, which is quite common I think, well, at least where I come from, people who own horses, they don't often also have horses on their property unless you live on a proper farm. But there are plenty of people around who live in suburbia but might have a, a horse, uh, you know, their kids do horse riding or whatever and, and the horse stays in a, in a stables. So I imagine the sim had their horse in a stable and they had to commute every time they wanted to hang out with their horse. But they just were so in love with their horse. It was their best friend. They really cared for it. They wanted to give it the most amazing life. Um, and that may be a little bit of a loner with other sims. Maybe they don't get along so much with sims, but they get along better with animals and particular horses. So the sim decided, right, I'm going to sell up everything I own in you know my current life and I'm going to buy an old barn and I'm going to convert the top floor into a little cute cozy uh, but has everything I need studio apartment and then my horse can live downstairs and we'll just have a lovely life together forever the two of us me and my horse so that's the story I came up with um, and that informed my uh, kind of decisions um, and I'd also gone into create a sim to create a horse and a sim prior to actually building this. This That was probably the first thing I did with the new pack was go into create a sim. Um, and the create a sim items are amazing as well. Also though, we got some amazing base game updates uh, just a few days prior to the pack release that are obviously available for everyone now. So there's a lot of amazing things added. Well, maybe not a lot. There were a few amazing things added that um, are inspired by um, indigenous culture, so Native American culture, and the braids in particular, the he new braided hairs we got are, are so gorgeous. Uh, and we got a few few other things as well. So yeah, obsessed with everything in this pack. Build by, create a sim, the world, um, and the gameplay is pretty adorable too. If you see the horses, particularly when the foals interact with the big giant uh, blow up balls. Anyway, uh, maybe I should tell you a little bit more about this build. So as you can see, I have got the basic shape of upstairs. I wanted it to, again, look like it was um, not cheaply remodeled, but, you know, sh the, the sim didn't have a ton of money to, you know, properly kit out a full home upstairs. So the bedroom is just, does just have an arch through to it. Um, and I put up some curtains a little bit later uh, so they can kind of curtain off their bedroom. But, you know, they probably realistically never really have guests here. So it doesn't really matter to them. Uh, the sofa and the armchair are, oh, are just beautiful. But, but honestly, I can't even pick out favorite pieces, I don't think. This new painting is beautiful. Um, the 
chairs that I use with the dining table are beautiful. The kitchen cabinets are beautiful and counters. This new fireplace, beautiful. Uh, some of the wall uh, decorations are gorgeous, like those hanging pots that I used in the kitchen, uh, just the ones up in the corner. And then uh, there's some beautiful new plants. I think we got three or four new plants. One that's a floor object plant and two that snap to surfaces. But obviously if you've got tool mod or if you use the control nine key, um, you can you can put the floor one up on, on surfaces as well. Uh, so I, you will see me using the red shelf there, which is, um, is quite common, I think, for builders these days. But do let me know in the comments if you need a link to, to get that object. It just allows you to place things on surfaces a little easier. Um, and that's me here adding these curtains that I talked about and a few other little details upstairs. And I think after the bedroom, after I add this little side table, I move back outside. So I kind of waffled a lot. Um, I placed the bathroom downstairs. So there wasn't a lot to play with once I made stables downstairs, uh, but I don't think it matters too much. Again, I think it kind of adds to the, um, the rusticness of this build and maybe how the conversion went. You know, it's not it wasn't traditionally created for, for a sim to live here. Um, but uh, yeah, so I, I think the vibe is, is okay. Uh, the bathroom's downstairs here and as you can see we got a new bath, the new sink I'm obsessed with, we got a new shower as well and I really love that shower curtain swatch that I used with the uh, horseshoes and the rope. It's so good. Uh, all the wallpapers um, downstairs are new as well so we got some horizontal and vertical siding. We got this new brick. Um, and then we also got some really lovely floor brick, floor tile brick stuff, brick, yeah. Uh, a few different types. So this one here that I use in the entrance way is beautiful. I love this kind of honey nut um, swatch. And then a few other pieces of decorations like these sort of mudroom shelving and uh, garden or um, barn type tools. Um, and then I use a few pots just to stack here. So if you do want to garden in the game, which is quite helpful if you want to um, do the nectar making because it consumes quite, quite a bit um, of like grape or apple to make the nectar. So that's quite handy if you couple that with a gut, like if your sim's got really good gardening skills and they've got a big garden, um, it's definitely handy. It's going to save you a lot of money to grow your own uh, things to put in the nectar. But uh, if you wanted, if you got this build, uh, you can just move those pots outside somewhere or, or even inside or undercover in the barn um, to use them as pot plants. In fact, I started a little mini kind of let's play gameplay on stream last week and I played in this home and uh, I used that original sim that I made and the the foal that I made for her so I moved those pots outside and we were trying to grow some grapes and I placed a, a nectar making um, item in the build as well I haven't placed the nectar item in this speed build, in this build that you'll get from the gallery. Uh, I just felt like it was getting a bit much, you know, I wanted, I didn't want to just throw everything from the pack in here because I absolutely will be doing more builds with this pack. I might do another one, just base game and horse ranch. And then I also will maybe do another with like a limited pack build, but some similar packs. So obviously cottage living comes to mind immediately. Um, eco lifestyle, I think would be a really good one to add as well. Uh, and yeah, I might see what else could work well with it. But um, sh surely at some point in the future as well, I will do an unrestricted pack build where I just use everything. But but honestly, the, the base game goes so well with this pack. Like, 
there's more than enough objects to make these really beautiful rustic-y style homes. And even some with some, like I could see the growing together, some of the modern build pieces from growing together working well with this pack as well uh, to make, I, I absolutely want to make like a, a modern style um a modern style barn or modern style ranch home uh, as well there's a really there's some really nice windows that came with this pack uh, that would I think lend a really good hand to to building like a modern conversion ranch home or something like that I don't know yeah I've got a lot of ideas I love this pack I absolutely will be bringing you more content with this pack no doubt uh, down here, I think I am doing, yeah, I'm just um, sorting out the horse area. So I used tool mod a few times just to um, move some items, size some items and rotate this cute wheel. At this point in the build, I think I'm going, I'm really kind of trawling through the debug and live edit menu because there are some really amazing objects in there as well. So uh, A, that saves a lot of money on the build and B, some of the objects are just really cool in live edit and debug. I often use those menus for my building and I also use a mod from Twisted Mexi called Better Build By, which if you're a builder, you probably have heard of it it's very very popular mod um, for builders and it just helps with organizing those that content because normally it's not organized very well in the EA menu um, another thing that uh, well two things that we got in the update the patch update before the pack came out we got the ability to change the swatches of ceilings which is amazing so we can now color our ceilings we can have tile carpet if you really want to wood ceilings pretty much most of I want to say not all but most of the floor uh the floor tiles or floor you know covers that you can get you can now also use on your ceilings so that's pretty awesome particularly for a build like this where uh, I don't know I feel like you want the that darkness those dark wood tones you want it to be a bit moody uh, so I did use a you know a dark wood swatch um, up in the in the ceiling for this or at least for downstairs I think I did something different in the bathroom yeah and then the other thing we got in that patch update so that's the free base game update was um, now I'm forgetting it oh right so now, when you're in build mode, and this is something you weren't able to do before, if you're playing on PC, you can hit tab and you go into what is called a free cam mode. So it allows you to take away the UI on top of the game um, and move around your camera. So you can get all sorts of really interesting angles. Um, it's what a lot of builders will use for screenshots. Um, so, you know, if you're in build mode um, it's it's just sometimes a bit of a pain to go out of build mode then into live mode to get all your screenshots so usually I find that a real pain um, there is a mod that helps with that but now good news you don't need the mod for it so you can just uh, hit that tab I don't know if it's a feature that's come to console um, I'm not sure. Maybe someone in the comments can let us know. And if it is on console, I'm not too sure what you what you have to press or something to to access it. Um, but yeah, I feel like that's kind of a long time coming that one. So screenshots will be here shortly. And if you do want to download this build, you can find it um, under my gallery ID Kiwi Sims Kate. And uh, if you liked it, please do give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I'm not too far away from 400 subscribers, slowly, slowly growing, and it really helps to support the channel. Uh, you can also follow me four times, three or four times a week, uh, streaming live on twitch.tv forward slash Kiwi Sims Kate or any of my other socials at Kiwi Sims Kate. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this build. Take care. Bye.